So we're getting on a train here in Hangzhou, China. Eric is over there, he's the tall guy, surrounded by all the not tall guys, getting onto the train. There was a line, but it, lines just end up turning into like little explosions of people, and they're getting onto the train. And the train actually looks pretty nice. It's nice to be able to shoot it from the outside and you can actually see the inside. This looks much nicer than the train we rode before. Um, things get a little chaotic when you get on for the first time, but this one isn't doing it, which is kind of disappointing. You're not getting to see how we got slammed into a bunch of people and no one could move. I think that this train doesn't allow standing, which is the reason why this isn't so chaotic. This looks like luxury and that's weird. Arriving in a city at night is always pretty awesome because they tend to show themselves their best in the evening. Shanghai is no different than any other. It's a pretty awesome looking city. It's a lot of buildings on the other side of this glowing blue overpass <laughs> that uh, are lit up pretty creatively. This blowing overpass looks a lot like a spaceship from a distance. See what we got. Today in Shanghai, it is 48 degrees and raining, and that's pretty cold for us. And I wish I had shoes so I didn't have to wear two pairs of socks with my sandals. But finding shoes in Shanghai when you have large feet isn't going to happen, I don't think. So, that's that. He's very disappointed. So I ordered a rose tea at this little bakery and in it are roses. So we've come to the Shanghai Insect Museum, and um, this down here. It's hard to see. This is a seal. <laughs> and over here are some ferret-looking things. And um, those are the weirdest-looking insects I ever saw. This insect museum is really weird. <laughs> Something ain't right here. This is something very odd in Shanghai, China. Hooters, country music, and Asian dancing girls. I'm all right with it. This is the Bund. That's all I got on that. Because that's the name of it. We're standing outside. It's 6 o'clock. The temperature right now is definitely in the 30s. It's still raining. But at least we've got something nice to look at. So we came outside of our Puma uh, what outfitters, whatever, and we saw these two guys that are lying on the sidewalk, handcuffed with these older men on top of them. Um, it's really weird because you wouldn't really see that in the States, like old men don't overtake young men who are shoplifting. And um, one of the guys, we're guessing, got smart mouthed and was being a little bitch to the old man and they started hitting him in the head and they took him and put his head on the sidewalk and pushed it into the sidewalk until his body curl, curled over on him. And um, now he's just sitting on the sidewalk and 
the cops did come and took one guy away and some girl and now the guy that got hit is still just sitting there. He, he didn't get hit hard or anything like that. Don't think that he did. They were just trying to show, you know, don't fuck around. Um, and he's just sitting on the ground now. Just looks like a normal guy. It's really weird. This box of Lucky Charms is $10.50. So we're walking down the road and I see this big tower of sticks and I'm like, what is that? And we found out that over here, people are eating kebabs and everybody has thrown their sticks in there and those are all the sticks from today. Pretty amazing. <laughs> what do you got there? Well, I know it's a bun, but I don't know what's in it. Maybe chicken and maybe cabbage, but it tastes like roast beef. Do you want one? <laughs> you mean do I want one? I got a deuce in my pocket. This guy's slicing meat off this big thing he's got hanging here of meat. And they're gonna put it in a tortilla and add some vegetables for me and then charge me an undetermined amount of money because I didn't ask. That's always fun. So this is what it ended up being. I think it's pork with vegetables and it's really spicy. It almost tastes a little bit like Mexican food or something. It's really good, and it turned out to be like 75 cents, so that's not a big deal. So I just had the, uh, the best bathroom experience of my life. So I went in there, and you remember those toilets we saw the other day that had like the little panel on the side that said all these things that you could do with the toilet? I got to sit in one of those. And this seat was warm and wonderful, and not because somebody else had just sat on it, because that's what it's supposed to be like. And there were all these buttons that were like, you could clean your ass with a hard spray or a soft spray, and there was one for the front. What did you choose? I didn't choose any of them because I was scared of it. But it did say that the water was going to be warm. You got to get a squirt. Anyways, then I came out, and the water that came out of the faucet was warm. It was warm. Somebody knows that it's cold outside. Just make the water warm. And then I got to use one of those turbo hand dryers where you put your hands down. And go, <laughs> I, I left the bathroom smiling. I noticed. Okay, today we have been introduced to some new Chinese currency. So we're going to go over these coins real quick, let you know what they're worth. This first one here is one yuan. This is, I'm pronouncing this terribly. I'm pronouncing it phonetically, so my bad. Um, this yuan is worth 14 cents. The five jiao, which is half a yuan, is worth seven cents. One jiao, which is one tenth of a yuan, is worth one cent. Then we met these guys today, and we had no idea what they were. I tried to use them in several transactions, and I, they looked at me like I was stupid. These are called fen. This five fen right here is half of this jiao right here. So half of it, he is worth seven-tenths of a penny. And this little one micro fen here is one-tenth of a penny. Chrissy, you may be right. Even boys, boys like flowers. <laughs> Alright, if you've ever been to the SPCA, this is kind of what this branch of the uh, Shanghai Zoo feels like. It is seriously pets. Dogs, and they're showing off the breeds, and I understand that. This guy here is kind of lonely. He doesn't have a buddy. Um, but, but I've never seen anything like this. This other surprising thing is they have signs up around the zoo telling not to feed the animals and stuff like that. And people are basically just feeding these dogs anything that they want to. This is how you choose to spend your birthday time? I'm 30. <laughs>